We are back in the kitchen here on Hot Plate. My name is Claire Karatu. And I'm Chef Bennett. What we do here is we create simple and delicious recipes that you can be able to recreate in your very kitchen. Every single ingredient is locally available and we get to meet amazing people on set. Now food is a very, very, very passionate place for Chef and myself. Yeah. We love, Chef and I, Chef and myself, Chef, chef and I, Chef and I. Chef and I. Chef and I. Yeah. <laughs> so we are very passionate about food and of course anybody else who is just as passionate is a friend of ours. Now this is where we call our home. This wow. is our space. Our domain. Exactly, mm. our domain. <laughs> so we always love having guests on the show who get to talk about themselves, and they get to cook with us. Now, when they cook with us, sometimes they come with their own different techniques. Sometimes we show them the recipes as they get to learn mm. as well. And we do have you, our viewers, joining us on set. A big shout out to all those who've been sending us messages and stopping us and saying, I love your show. We love you so much for <laughs> tuning in. Honestly, a big, big thank you. Mm. And keep it tuned in here to Hot Plate. We do hope that you have been enjoying making some of the recipes that we've been able to show you. I feel like there's been so many seasons, so there's so many recipes that you Ready. can you can pick from and all these are online that's on ebro tv hot plate just to see some of the stuff that we put together mm -hmm. on this mm -hmm. show all right now chef has a chicken mm -hmm. nuts, <laughs> nuts rice nuts. Uh, and i got a little array of ingredients as well that i will be showing you um now what catches my eye are these chelles what are we going to use this chelles for hey, for um Kung Pao chicken. Kung Pao chicken now explain nice. to us what Kung Pao chicken is Kung please. Pao chicken is just a stuff right which uses a lot of chili, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, rice vinegar, right? Uh, some sesame oil, right? Yeah. I am so excited about that because mm. I love sesame oil. It has such a good flavor. It no, makes a difference. I know. Yeah. Like sometimes I marinate my meat in it yeah. uh, with a little bit of chili. soup. The chapamba. It overpowers. I tried it one time. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I put too some, much. I was just trying something. Even I actually put it at the end. You're right. But uh, it didn't work out. So I just said, that's just for Asian cuisine. Okay, mm. fine. All right, now I'm going to make mine, which I'm going to call a cookie layered dessert pudding. Uh, I'm cookie just... layered dessert pudding. Yeah. Yeah. It's a mouthful. Yes, it is. <laughs> my, my desserts are always a mouthful, like literally <laughs> yeah, little and bit. figuratively. <laughs> right? So, um... so, so let me know, guys. Don't, uh, bang guys. Yes, today you go ahead and sit down. Ah. I just need to turn this thing on, which just generally just always gives me such a hard time. But mm -hmm. never worry, because Chef is here to save us. Am All I? Right. <laughs> I thought, I thought I'm, uh, today I'm chilling. No, no, no. See, you've already helped us in terms of like lighting it for us, so that's good. Oh. Okay, so I was going to get something, but I guess um, I'm not. Are you looking for eggs? No, yeah. um, vanilla essence. I think we have some. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to season our milk. Oh, wonderful. We're going to season. So what I have here, sorry guys, is we've got some milk up, just warming up slightly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some caster sugar, um, a little bit of corn flour, and I'm going to mix this outside the, the, the little con contraption that we have there. Okay. So I'll grab this, grab my whisk. Yeah, the whisk over there. Right, grab my whisk over here. What would you do without me? I know! <laughs> Half the time I'm just like, I've been in this kitchen long enough, I should know where everything is. <laughs> Woo! All right, so we're going to put about a tablespoon of sugar. Mm. Uh, let's put one and a half because I love sugar. Just for the custard. Just for the custard. And then we're going to put a tablespoon of corn flour. Mm -hmm. um, just go in there. Lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Actually, I put two tablespoons just to make sure that it's nice and thick. Mm. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this up. And I'm come, I'm going to come and take this, a little bit of the milk that's in here. Okay. Woo! Pole, 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 pole. <laughs> and then I'm going to just pour that in there just to mix up our little um, flour so that you, you, you stop, you, you enable... Yeah, it's got corn flour and sugar. Okay. So I put a little bit of milk in there just to make sure that you don't have coagulation. So you don't want it to coagulate mm, so, in there. So it's better you mix it outside. Before exactly, you before you put it mm. in there. And then what this does is it's also a bit warm. So mm. then I'm just going to go ahead and add an egg okay. straight into that. Yeah. 
All right, now I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of sugar because why not? you can never go wrong with sugar. <laughs> and then you want to just mix that egg in there. Now, there are different ways. We've made custard on the show before. There are different ways to do that. Uh, but I'm just going to do it this way today. Um, look at that. I love the color. Mm. We've got our nice um, vanilla essence. So put a, a teaspoon of vanilla essence in there and then give that a little mix. Okay, now, okay. Uh, it smells amazing, right? What I'm going to do is when you have your milk going, remember it's warm. So as you pour this, you want to keep whisking because of the fact that it's going to start cooking the egg and the corn flour. So you want to mix as you pour that. And what's going to happen is it's going to start thickening in there. I'm just going to rinse that off by ensuring that we have all this in there. instant custard powder. You know, you know, you can. Mm, but it's better just to make your own. Right, mm -hmm. right. Oops. <laughs> so <laughs> don't be as crazy with the sugar as I am. Now this is something I always say with custard. You want to be patient with it. You want mm. to keep mixing time, it. It took a minute. It took a while uh. before it started to <laughs> thicken, right? So you want to be very patient with it. Keep mixing it up because if you don't, then you get those lumps that you don't want. Mm. So the egg is gonna cook up. Um, the 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 corn flour is gonna now. Thicken it completely. You can salvage it by sieving it. Ah. So you can sieve your custard. And what that does is also takes out any egg particles that have cooked up before you know you mix ah, it. Okay. So that makes a very silk you custard. Have to start again. You don't have to start again. Ah, okay. You can just you can sieve it and in case it's like ugali, sieve it, add some milk, boil that up, ah. and then it and keep whisking. Ah. You can salvage your custard, That's right? Nice. Alright, so this is going. See, I stopped mixing and it started thickening up, which is not supposed to happen. Mm. You want to make sure that it's a nice uh, silky custard all through okay. so I'm just gonna bring that to a boil I'm gonna taste it to make sure that it's it has enough sugar which I'm pretty sure it does <laughs> <laughs> and then just mix that up now look at that it started to thicken look at that ah I love custard that's made from scratch because you can barely even taste the egg. Mm. Do you ever taste nah, the egg no, in no, my no, custard? No, 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 no. You can't taste the egg and look at that. So silky, so smooth. It smells delicious. You can use this in a pudding anytime. So easy, right? All right, so that's about done. Um, now, Chef, I will not ask you to help me, but if I do, mm. I might ask you. Exactly. So I'm going to let that, actually, let me just go for a bit longer. I want to see that bubble. Mm. So you're going to try and make sure that it bubbles completely and you want to keep stirring so that it doesn't, it doesn't completely co so coagulate. No, no, no. Yeah. This is fine. It's actually ready. This mm. is ready. I just wow. want to make sure that it's cooked through because you don't want to have that corn flour um, taste. So look at that thickness. This is some beautiful custard. If you want it more runny, just mm. add a bit milk. It's up to you. I like this, especially for the pudding. I like it thick, wow. right? Mm -hmm. We like them thick. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take this little thing here because it's hot. And what I'm going to do is, Chef, maybe I'm going to ask you for a spatula okay. so that we can be able to get all that custard goodness out. And I've got a tray here um, that I'm just going to pour my custard into. Go ahead and just, 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 yeah, get all that goodness out. No wasting, right? No wasting. No wasting. So we're basically going to empty this to a tray. You can use any dish of, 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 you know, that you prefer to serve your pudding in. Um, even the rectangular ones are pretty fine, but what you want to make sure that it goes quarter way. So just spread that evenly, kindly on the tray. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that it goes quarter way of your tin. Why? Because we're going to layer this up, right? All right, so I'm going to come here with my dish. I love to use a tin dish when I'm whisking cream. Okay. So what I have here is a little bit of cream. Uh, this is double cream. Mm -hmm. And whew, and then I'm gonna chop up some strawberries because that's gonna go in there. Yes, it is yes, please. Maybe you can chop up the strawberries. And then what we're gonna do is add a teaspoon of sugar. So diced, very thinly diced. Like yes, like small, small little chunks diced. We are going to mix this up until it forms some soft peaks. Yeah. Chef, yes, yes, perfect. Okay. Those are perfect. Okay. Um, and we're gonna put these on the side. Mm. Right now. Put them inside. Yeah, we're gonna put the, the those inside. Okay. As that is going, we've got some milk here, right? Some milk. We are gonna come with our cookies, mm -hmm. dunk them in our milk. Now you wanna soak them for about um, maybe. 
five seconds on each side so that you can properly have those lovely cookies soaked up but not soaked to the point that they're falling apart mm. you still want to have that little bit of a crunch um, because what's going to happen is when you put the cream on top it's still going to soak up that cream so okay. it's going to make them super moist mm. which you don't want so much because then it's just going to have like soggy biscuits which is kind of gross right <laughs> yeah, you want to have you want to have a little bit of a bite so you just want to literally literally dunk them for that's one two three four five that's one two three four five and that's it literally five seconds each side place them on your tray i'm going to do that for every cookie until we have that filled in now if you're just joining us we're making a simple biscuit um la layered biscuit pudding. <laughs> <I told you. laughs> layered biscuit pudding is that what i called it La i hope so layered biscuit cream and <laughs> no, I don't think I said cream though. Oh, okay. I don't think I said cream though. <laughs> but but it's a layered biscuit um, uh, dessert, mm. which I love because it's so easy and it's going to be so delicious. Um, so I'm just going to basically do the last cookie and then I'm going to come, um, look at how perfect that fits. Mm, <laughs> it fits yeah, perfectly, man. right? <laughs> and now I'm going to come and quarter these so that we can we can fix them on the other places now if you if you have a tin that's squared then you just want to make sure that you fill in all those spaces so i've got the little quarters here one two three four five one two three four five i feel like my seconds are very fast <laughs> yeah my seconds are very fast but <laughs> one two three four five one two three four five and then just fill in the little spaces that you have there so that you have a perfect layer of biscuits right on top mm. right and you know the good thing about this dessert is if you've got spaces that are not filled then you can literally just break biscuits and put that on top right okay. oops see i think I, I soaked that one for too long because i was talking to you guys all right so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna thank you chef <laughs> that looks perfect and i'm gonna go ahead and quarter another cookie mm. because we are going to continue to fill up the spaces now chef when you think about layering biscuits for dessert mm. like how simple is this and you don't have to bake anything Magic. even though uh, that was a question or that was a follow-up question right like, is this going to the oven or my no fridge? it's going into the refrigerator wow. So you literally do Same. minimal I work. Your with in minutes, so. <laughs> exactly. You know, people think Good that making over. desserts <laughs> is like the longest thing ever. <laughs> but you can have the tastiest dessert in mm. the shortest amount of time. So I'm going to go ahead and fill all those up. Mm. Um, again, with the biscuits, just going to fill this up. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's not going to be seen. Mm. I just want to make sure that we're covering up the custard completely. Mm. Right? So, so far, we've made the custard. Right. We've dunked in the cookies or the digestives right. and some milk. Yes. And already picked the creams, cut the strawberries. Yeah. So what are we doing next? So we've got cream here. We've dunked some strawberries in here. Mm. Chef has just like mice the strawberries, which is fine. <laughs> we're yeah, gonna, yeah, we're gonna use we're gonna use that um <laughs> I, I for the topping. Yes, yes, that's perfect. And then what you want to do now with this cream is now come right on top of that of those cookies mm. and you wanna just layer that cream right on top. Wow. Um now guys, you can if you want a hefty amount of cream, you can go ahead and do that. Just just add more cream to it. It works perfectly fine. So you, can, you can say like this is like a. <laughs> it's like a. Like when you turn a thing as a cream cheese, yeah, but. But different. Different cups, huh? Different completely. Because the biscuits are the middle. The middle, exactly. <laughs> so then you want to literally spread that mm. cream completely covering your cookies wow. um the strawberries, the strawberries oh, yeah, are fine like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look good chef okay they look good <laughs> and if you want to layer that with more cream go crazy with the cream it's mm. absolutely up to you can you use uh, like mascarpone mascarpone would be even better wow. mascarpone is a very decadent cream that i love because of the fact that it's very rich in terms of the thickness That's and the it. creaminess and the flavor is amazing mm. i love the fact that you can balance it with different flavors like coffee with chocolate mm. but only thing is that it's a bit pricey in the uh, supermarket course, yeah yeah, yeah. It's like you can't spoil yourself. if you want to spoil yourself go crazy instead of fresh cream use some mascarpone cream um, add some strawberries in there a little bit of sugar and you'll have a very very delicious dessert right so this is gonna almost add a little bit of some acid to it because of the mm. strawberries mm. so with desserts you want to balance the flavors you want to yeah. balance the sweetness so the sweetness of a exactly the digestive is going too sweet yes and then now 
you have the, the strawberries tartness. and the cream and yeah. the tartness of that yeah. and then you have the sweetness of the yeah, custard that's, that's a good balance right mm. all right now chef i'm going to kindly ask you to slice um some strawberries like in kile. strips yes in strips uh, strips too yes just in strips uh, okay and what we're going to do is we are going to now finish that off pop that into the fridge it's going to set for a while and then we are going to to try it so basically what we're doing is we're just gonna line these strawberries right on top um, of our pudding just for the sake of presentation um, it's not necessary but I just like to make the dessert look just a little bit pretty as you take it out and serve it to your guests and then what we're gonna do now is um, add a little bit of cookies mm. just to sprinkle on top to almost make it look like a crumble but not really so I'm going to make just a simple flour here. Chef, I see you've jumped to your station here. Yes, I'm not Kokaribu. Kokaribu. Now, remind our viewers what we're making. Okay, so this is an Asian dish. Right. It's called Kung Pao Chicken. Okay. And so, what does Kung Pao Chicken stand for? Uh, I, I don't speak Asian. Do <laughs> <laughs> but I know it's like a stir fry. Uh-huh. It is a stir fry. Right. Very, 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 very simple. Uh-huh. It actually takes even minutes if you prepare everything at hand. Yeah. That take out a ten minutes okay. preparation. Mm, so it's like a first thing. You need to make a job. Yes. Choka. Yeah. And let's fix this up. Araka araka. Okay. So basically, what I've done is completely broken down those cookies mm. almost to like a. It almost looks like a bread pudding. Yeah. Yes. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle this right on the just on the corner of it just not um, taking away from the strawberries that mm. we had put there so that you almost look like you formed a crust. It reminds me of that um, cookie. A cookie. Cookie, cookie what? Cookies and cream you made. Cookies you like a car, and... Garden, like a garden. Oh, a yes. Garden. Did you like that one? <laughs> oh, it was amazing. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to sprinkle that right on the sides. Mm. Um, and of course, little is 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 more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and sometimes when you're when you're dressing or when you're plating or when you're making something look presentable, sometimes the least is usually mm, the best. Of it, yeah. So that is literally all that we're doing. Don't go crazy by sprinkling it all over. Mm -hmm. In the case that you want to, you can do the whole of it just mm -hmm. like that. But I feel like little is better. Right, and that's it. So we want to oh. pop this into the fridge for about an hour. You can still feel the custard is very, very hot. So we're going to pop this into the fridge, let it sit there. Actually, I'm going to pop it into the freezer so that chef can be able to sample it at the end of the show. Mm. Um, and we're just going to let that sit there for a while, yes? All right, so chef, take us away with your gong, kong pao. Kung, kung pao, kong pao. Right. <laughs> oh, that, that's not racist, is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for the ingredients, what we have, uh, we have some sesame oil, mm -hmm. some salt, black pepper, some oyster mm. sauce, some soy sauce, mm. some rice vinegar, some sugar, of course, you're happy. Uh, some corn flour. Corn flour, some nuts, mm -hmm. rice, some chilies, garlic, ginger, a courgette. Uh -huh and some spring onions okay and everything is going inside that dish mm. yeah so How, where are we starting from because i see chicken. we're gonna do we start the chicken okay and now which cuts are those and can you use any part of the chicken okay you can i prefer this because mm. it's more juicier i eat a coca so what we're gonna do is just no we're taking out the skin yes why? unfortunately why uh we just don't want to use it but when is this here Yes. Yeah, just like big strips and then just like deep crisp fry them, them exactly. crisp them, season them and then crisp them. And then use that as the crunch as element in your dish. Mm. Even when you're making the rice, I feel like I'm going to give myself that task. <laughs> so. Thank you. Si uh, no, what do you mean? Uh, after you're done? Yes. Okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. And this is to Ah. So the legs are there. So what we're going to do, we're going to debone our le legs and thighs. Mm -hmm. So. Let's use a small knife. If you have a paring knife, right. it's better. So what you do, take your finger, mm -hmm. just stick it in, and slice the alongside the bone. So we're deboning it, so we're yes. not going to use the bone? No, we're not. We're going to use the bone to make a small broth to you, any, okay. which you're going to use for like a sauce. Too. Yes, it right. yeah, you don't want it too dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we'll mix the broth with some corn flour. Corn flour. Yes. 
kasosiak. Let me just stick your bone. Yeah, and then scrape that just all scrape that flesh out. All that flesh. Now this is very interesting because a lot of times we get it already deboned sometimes in the supermarkets, mm. but it's actually cheaper. Cheaper. Uh, yeah, it's cheaper to buy your chicken and debone it in the house yourself, yes. yeah. right? Yeah. And then that way you can make sure you get all the good flesh out. Oh, yeah. Right? Okay, yeah. so into Bone. the water into that the water. goes. So we already have like a good cut of a good meat. Cut. Now and how do you debone that part? So for this, yeah. we just start fupa yes. nam gongo. Yes. So, just start from the bone here. Just make sure me am going to Okay. Then, just stick your fingers inside. Right. Just to separate the meat from the bone. Right. And then, just like... Start to peel it peel away it from away the cartilage. Bus. That's the cartilage is usually the white part, which I eat cooler sana. Half the time, my kids ask me, Mommy, you're eating the bones. And I'm like, you got to eat the chicken like this. That's how you get it good. You know what I mean? That's so another. we got that um, flesh, the flesh away from the cartilage and kind of like tear that apart. Mm -hmm. no. got another tenner quito. Right. I want to see from the bone, from the, um, what you might call it, from the back how mm. are you going to take that so out from the back uh -huh. now is where the tricky part comes yes because there's a lot of flesh going on here yes so what we'll do is just scrape out the excess uh-huh uh -huh. so we'll put that candle okay so we just <laughs> yeah yeah hotel right so like it's just like something you know. You get used, used to a custom used to because like, power stable. Na pewa mukuka is like like five kilos. Oh my gosh, to the bone, yeah. So like you just get used to it. So right. Like, yeah, no rush at all. So let's look for that joint. Uh huh. And then let's scrape. And then tear it away from the flesh. Yes. Now I feel like you have to be very patient to do this. Yes. Like, but practice makes perfect. Right. Kifanya ka when you na scale le five kilos a day. Hmm. Kosal. And then toss that in there. Let's see, let's see, toss that also. So there's another piece. Mm -hmm. and then we go to another one now. now same you, process. The same, same process. Mm. All right. So this way, we find out within minutes. Kangi, let's cut it here. All right. Now that's that. Now the, that's that. You have your and flesh out. This is you. What? Yes. Me? Yeah. How? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Can you repeat, please? <laughs> so, you know, please repeat okay, that okay, one, just, teacher. Let's go to the bone too. You know, when you tattoo. Oh my gosh! I don't believe he's making me do this. <laughs> All right, now, guys. Um, so what you have here is you have the bone. Unona he, mufupa. In other words, mipupa. And then you want to just slit all the way across the bone. You see, slit across the bone. Yes. And this is just to make sure that you are getting, yes, be careful, <laughs> always be careful students. And then you want to almost just tear it apart, tear it apart, get that flesh out. And then you stick your finger in the flesh and tear it from, <laughs> from the bone. <laughs> right? I'm, I'm a good listener, uh -huh. right? And then uh, you want to just scrape that. Scrape that off the bone. See, you get that flesh and it peels off very, very easily. Right? Mm -hmm. You see that? Look at that. Almost clean. You can uh, see the that's bone. Good. Good, good job. Thank you. Thank you. You see? And then you want to just continue to peel it off the cartilage mm -hmm. because I feel like you don't want to waste any meat. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but at the same time, you also want to have some. Sorry, get out of there. So then I saw him twist. Yes, let's twist it. When you twist it, you pull it from those little. Oh, see? Yeah. Look at that into the bone that goes and then like he said we've got excess flesh here mm. which pia inami pupa so you <laughs> want to you <laughs> you want to just cut that away it's fine it's fine it's fine hey, hey, okay let's hey, look hey. for the joint and then just like slice it in okay so then you see yeah, you have this yeah. bone here mm. you want to slice it uh -huh. and then you want to see that you have sliced it <laughs> <laughs> and that you're wow. not wasting any meats and then you continue to slice and slice okay and then you see it almost like peels very easy look at that wow. look at that wow. i'm a pro yeah, natural, and, then, <laughs> natural lover. and then you want to just peel that off wow. and you have your bone Bravo. 
thank you. Yeah, and then you like want to lalisha like, it. Lalisha you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> good job. Man. Thank you. Good thank job. you very good much. Job. I feel like I've learned something today, but I am never going to debone my chicken. <laughs> uh, but okay. thanks for the lessons either way. <laughs> so uh -huh. here we have some... Um, this uh, scallions, zitanga, spring onions. Right. So we're just gonna like use the stem. Mm -hmm. This is just yakusa idea. It's stock to you gonna flavor. Yes. So we're just gonna add that in. If you have carrots, uh, celery. Mm -hmm. There's two types of uh, vegetables in your neza to me or for stock. Yeah, you just dump them in there. I feel in. like celery would add so much flavor. Yeah, it would. Um, it would a celery, it. some you've got some some spring onions there. Mm. You can even put some some ginger and garlic in there. That would be perfect for your stock. Then, yes. Okay, yeah, it can. Or some lemon lemongrass. As to me, yeah, bass. Yeah. Uh, since it's Asian, yes. lemongrass will be perfect. Even ginger, mm. ginger and lemongrass. Yeah, but we're going to use that in the dish, and we're not going to use a lot of stock. This right. is like a basic. Okay, mm. so you've got your chicken there, yes? Yes, so uh, we're going to slice them mm -hmm. into cubes. Right. So, uh, let me take a bigger knife. Just like so. And then that. Right. Put them aside. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Good. Another. And then, uh -huh. what we're going to do is get past me a bowl. Sure. Gonna marinate this chicken. You're gonna marinate the chicken. Mm -hmm. So into the bowl, the chicken goes. Now remember yes. this little nice um, crispy skin, or rather, what I'm gonna do with it is make it crispy. Mm -hmm. We've got skin there that Chef pulled out. We're not gonna throw it out. We're gonna use it as a crunch element. We're gonna add this to a crunch element to any dish. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how to do that. And that's basically by just literally frying it. So you wanna season it and fry it. And then get it into nice little chopped bits. Bass. So that it's like, almost like, like, like adding... Like bacon. bacon. Exactly, it's almost like adding crispy <laughs> bacon. Yeah. All right, so Chef, how are you gonna season the chicken? So, chicken here. Mm -hmm. We have here some oyster sauce. Yum, I love oyster sauce. Yeah. I use oyster sauce a lot okay. in the house. Yeah. And then... You have some soy. Some soy sauce Just goes in there. Just a bit, because we're gonna use more yeah. later on. Mm -hmm. Here's some rice, rice vinegar. vinegar. Yum! You gotta have some rice vinegar in that. Then you have some sesame oil. Sesame oil is just so nutty, so flavorful. Mm -hmm. You want to give that a mix, just yeah? Just give it a mix. A spoon. Right. Now, this is just to make sure that you incorporate those flavors into the chicken. Yes. And because of the fact that it's such a juicy cut of, of, of chicken, mm. then it's it's going to soak oh, those in. Yeah, All right. Now, Oh my gosh, the sesame oil I know, just it dominates. Is it's One's so beautiful. <laughs> All right, guys, now we are going to continue to mix that. Are we going to let it sit for a while? Yes, we're going to let it sit for a we're while. We're going to let it sit for a while, soak in that marinade. Mm -hmm. We've got our, our rice going, we've got our, our stock going with the bones, and our chicken is marinating in that flavor. Our dessert is chilling in the fridge. So we're going to go on a short break, and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? You want it? <laughs> Don't give me that look. We are back and today at Hall Plate today we're making some Kung Pao Chicken. I just love that name, man. Kung Pao Chicken. Sounds like that song. Everybody wants Kung Fu Fighting. Ooh. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. So the marination we did here was so perfect. We put some sesame oil, oyster, soy sauce, soy sauce rice vinegar, mm -hmm. something we forgot. Corn flour. Corn flour. Why is that we putting corn flour? This idea to thicken yani. And then we leave it to the unga. Yes, na yes right. It's a dry vibe. Right. Yes. So we're gonna put there like a tablespoon. Uh huh. And then give that give a, mix. a mix. I love and that. And a lot of Asian dishes, especially when they, they use, even deep fry, yeah. they use corn flour Sapsa. instead of flour. Yes. Um, I, think, I think the way it's so fine. It's fine, yeah. and then you don't have that flour flavor. Right. Yeah. You don't have that, that, zito zito right. yeah. don't have that flour taste at the back of your Bas. of your bite, do right? You. Do you. All right, now, so, um, and this also thickens the stew. Mm -hmm. That's why we will Sesame use. oil! Yes, that's good. Too. Right. And then some normal. Normal oil. oil. Yeah. So this doesn't burn fast. Yeah. You can moderate the temperature. And you can see we have that on a walk. We're going full blown Asian, eh? Doiosos. <laughs> Thank God we had this. So we're gonna put that in. Not gonna put all of them at a time. Why? Mm. Yeah, so it's gonna 
give it a saute because we're going to chuck it out to continue with the rest. With the rest the being? Same, same pan. Oh, the same pan. So mm. everything is going to be prepared on the same pan, yes? yes? All right, so we've got our chicken going in there. Mm -hmm. I love so, that. Well, that's going. Uh-huh. I'm going to do the ginger and the garlic. Now that is my sort of language there. <laughs> I was going to wonder when you're going to put in the chicken, uh, the garlic and ginger. Mm. And of course, in every, actually every Asian, yeah, like lazima. there's like if always there's no has to ginger be ginger. And garlic, I, right. you know, I, put your pika keto. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they always incorporate it. Sometimes it's usually in chunks as well. Mm. I love, I love the pickled ginger, especially when Asa. having it with sushi. Yeah, yeah, story. I can snack on those. Yeah, story. Yes. Huh? All right. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to say I'm going to pickle some ginger for you. <laughs> I was so excited. And now the smell from here. Oh, my God. Ow. Ow. All right. You want to be careful with that. It's just popping all over. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to just give that a mix. Make yeah, sure you can that do it, that also. Yeah. Then you just put them in a plate and add the next batch. The next batch. As you can see, it's crispening the, the, the chicken there. Um, all the flavors are cooking up. We've got that beautiful sear, golden brown sear that you're looking for in your chicken. Oh my gosh, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. It smells delicious. I feel like you can literally just snack on this. As is, right? Right? It smells amazing. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. I'm not doing it. Yeah, I'm doing it. I've learned, guys. I've learned. I've become a master chef in this kitchen, Kabisa, honestly. Kabisa. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and just make sure that all the chicken is... You want to make sure that your chicken is cooked, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So, we're going to make sure that it's cooked. It's seared to perfection. The soy sauce adds the salt that you need because you realize that we didn't put any salt in this. Yes. That's because the salt aspect will come from the soy sauce. Kabisa. I'm going to go ahead and grab a plate um, and I'm going to put the chicken pieces that are ready in here as I put the second batch. All right, so Chef, um, how are you going to, um, are you going to break, I mean, completely break down the garlic? Yes, yeah, so we're going to try and do that. Right. So we're just going to dice them quickly. Okay. Let's go. Some sneaky, sneaky, sneaky skin. Ah, here. sneaky skin. <laughs> oh my just gosh, that them. smell. It smells amazing, and I can't wait to put the garlic in here. Now, so, our broth is still going, or you switch no, it off? No, Nazima. So that's Why is that? Enough for... What it is that we You know, um, this stock was just a plus. Right. It's um, uh, corn flour. Corn flour. But it, you want to make sure this that... This one is to add this more flavor. Exactly. Yeah, so the garlic is a bit dicey way. Mm. Just going to add a bit of salt. Right. Into the garlic. Now, why do the we do garlic, that? Just to help it break down a raka raka. Mm. And just take like the edge of the blade and then like just mince it. Confirm. Right. I'm on a mortar and pestle on a blender. You mince it completely. Uh, and don't you get that um, um, chicken, I mean the garlic stuck on the board? No, so that's why we use the salt. Ah, so the salt prevents that yeah. from happening. And how does it prevent it, Chef? I don't know. <laughs> it's <a> science. <laughs> I love putting Chef on the spot like that, honestly, half the time. Um, I'm sorry, Chef, let me get the chicken really? so that we can put the rest of it in there. Now, remember, there was already oil in the pan. There was already oil on the on the chicken itself. So we just want to make sure that we, we put the rest of it in there. Mm -hmm. Spread it out so that it, it, it cooks, um, you know, evenly. And you don't have the... the it doesn't release its... its, it's um, it's juices. So you just want to make sure that you kind of like spread them out, let that fry perfectly, and then you get that golden brown color. You don't want the juices to come out. Let it just literally sear so it locks up all that flavor inside the chicken. And remember the cut of chicken that we used was um, the, the thigh and the, and, the, and the drumstick. Therefore, it will not dry out, which makes it perfect for this dish, yeah? You want to make sure that it doesn't dry out. Oh, look at that taste. Oh, yeah. But I feel it's like reduced 10 times. <laughs> That's how, don't worry. Because Your how? punch, but it's here too. All right. Now we're going to cut in ginger. Oh, wow. I've just tasted the chicken. Oh, nice. Absolutely beautiful. Nice. All right. I'm just going to... That's what we love to hear. What's that? That's what we love to hear. All right. I'm going to clear that here. 
and it's still very juicy it's not dried out and i'm just going to give that a toss just to make sure that we have all those um um chicken pieces perfectly brown look at that so you want it to cook through and then what's happening is the the corn flour is creating this crust mm -hmm. so it's almost like have, making it have like it's like have skin on it but it doesn't it just gives it that lovely lovely crust that you're looking for so you want to make sure all your chicken pieces get ready through completely so you just want to flip those ensuring or give that a toss like i did earlier ensuring that the chicken is cooked through it's very important that your chicken is cooked through right all right so chef is basically just going at it with that um <laughs> with that ginger <laughs> Look at that. All right, now as Chef is going through the ginger, I want to use the I want to use a pan uh, because I feel like I still want to crisp in that. You can do that at the end. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. Ah, you're done. Yeah. I love that. Okay, so put that aside. So we have here some chilies and. What you do, you can use the uh, dry ones, okay. which will work perfectly. I think our rice is ready. Okay. Uh, uh, Zima. Right. Right. Okay. So what, you can use the dry ones, which okay. will be better. Just soak them in a bit of hot water. Yes. No, no, you don't that too evil. Okay. Yeah. So this one, since they're fresh, yeah. what we're going to do is just cut them halfway. Okay. And use a spoon mm -hmm. just to remove the excess heat. Why? Just if you don't like heat. Yeah, too mm. much heat, yeah. yeah. So the seeds in the zuko are like... All know, the heat. So you can store heat. that and make a chili on the yes. side. Yes. Yeah, because I made an insane one juicy one. Right? Hey. Where is my pack of chili? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> so, I'm the nose. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we've got our chicken ready here. Um, so I'm just going to take that out. Mm -hmm. Now, yes. I'm going to reduce the heat, yes, mm. because you don't want it to burn out the, yes. the, the flavors that we have in here. Yeah, yeah. You want them to remain as is. So I'm going to completely reduce that heat. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to use the same wok to create the other flavors that's going to go into this Kung Pao chicken. Kung Pao chicken. Kung Pao. Right? All right, I'm going to go ahead and have a seat here okay. as I let Chef remove the seeds from that um, from the chili. Mm. Um, now, this removes the excess because we're going to chop those up, I'm guessing, and now it's going to be added way. in there. Yes? Yeah, okay, you don't have to cut it up a lot. Now, in most cases, you have people chopping them up in slices, which can be overpowering to the palate. Uh, that's why we've removed the seeds so that the heat can be reduced. Um, a chef is sneezing. <laughs> Bless you. Um, <laughs> we've got now the heat released. We've got the... Um, We've got the garlic, the mm -hmm. ginger paste there. Yes. We've got the wok getting nice and hopped. Uh -huh. uh, we've got zucchini, yes. the rimarro. We have zucchini. Uh, you can add some courgette. peppers. Right. Yeah, courgette, zucchini. Baby Maro. Baby Maro. <laughs> it's just like yeah. all these names. Those are the old names. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we're going to dice that. And then this is what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Just halfway. And you want them to be in the same style, or we, okay? So we're gonna dice these. Yes. So you just want some bite. Okay. Now remember, the walk is going. I've reduced the heat. Yes. Thank you. So no we're gonna worries. start with some sesame oil. So I'm gonna put a little bit of sesame oil. Mm -hmm. All right. So a little bit of sesame oil is gonna go in there. Okay. Yes. That's all. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna start with this. Now you want to be fast because you don't want to overcook the courgette, so you still yes, want to have sorry. the bite, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, and that goes in there. Yeah. You're going to give that a toss. So you flavor your kuku. Yes. And the vinegar. Right. Uh -huh. So, chill it. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and add in the chilies. Mm. Just the chilies or the. Ju we can start with the chilies first. Okay. Let's get some heat on them. Okay. And then we can add the ginger. In goes the chili. Yes. Straight yes. in there. Mm -hmm. And then what next? What next? Some nuts. Yes, These I nuts. love that. I was waiting for that. All right, now all of them? Yes. Sorry. In yes. goes the nuts. I'm gonna leave them for me to bite into. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then right. you can now add the ginger and garlic. Okay, and then in <laughs> goes <laughs> and then in goes the ginger and yes, garlic so paste we'll, that you made earlier. What we're gonna earlier. do with this since the ginger cooks faster, mm -hmm. we're just gonna cook it for a minute. Right. 
then we can add our meat. And then the chicken that's on the side that was perfectly cooked. Oh, ngati is arakaraka. Okay, so you want the whites only? Kata uh, zote. All right. I'm telling you, chef is on my case today. So how do you want them? Just big ones, small ones. Okay. Yeah. So we're just gonna chop that finely. Um, and then we're gonna add this into our dish there. Now I like to get all the way um, to the white part. Why? Mm. Because it adds so much um, pizzazz. Pizzazz. <laughs> pizzazz when you have the whites in there as mm. well. Okay. So that looks about right. Do you need more? Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and add this straight into mm -hmm. that. And then we're gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and chop this lovely big one that we have here. Yes. And then um, just go at it with the whites. And this one I'm gonna do slightly bigger just so that we can have the a variation of sizes. That's okay, yes, right? Yes. We're gonna just add that in there. Okay, so since we didn't season. <laughs> uh, right, thank you. Since we didn't season this, uh -huh. we're gonna add some soy. Oh, wonderful. Also gives it some color. Yeah. And Chef, I can see that you're doing all this with high heat now. Yes. You brought the heat up so that you can hey, sear things very it, fast. Food, let's move the the one in the chop chop. Yeah, yeah. Vinegar. Some more rice vinegar. Remember, yeah. that's rice vinegar, guys. So this one, this one is not normal. Lucy, to me, in Guinea. Right. This one actually goes. The bottle goes at for maybe uh, two hundred. Uh, uh. mm -hmm. So it's not bad. Right. Now, forever. Exactly. Because <laughs> so you're not going to use it on a daily. Yeah. You know what I mean. All right. Let's so. Again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Okay, uh -huh. Let's give it a taste. Ooh. Is it good? Need more. Uh, soy sauce. Yes. Yeah. Put the chicken in. And then you give that a lovely yeah. toss. Wow. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. The colors have popped. You've got the greens in there that's just perfect. Um, you've got, um, Chef feels like he wants to add something else. No, yes, see, Sasa. We're going to add now our stock and our. Maybe we can add more um, mushroom sauce and soy sauce. Mushroom sauce? What did you call it? Yeah. The soy, the soy, just for the seasoning. Okay. But this one is just to add it to isikauke. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're going to add the stock that we made there earlier on with the flavoring. <laughs> My goodness. Today, <laughs> Chef. Mm -hmm. Hey, I was busy mm -hmm. enjoying mm -hmm. No, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> So we're just gonna mix this araka araka. Right. <laughs> and then just add it in. Are we gonna put any sugar in there? Aha. Yes. That's three. A little bit of sugar is going in there and a little bit extra soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah, so 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 when when say be out. Yes. <laughs> Guess how? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna give that a lovely toss. Yeah, that's just a like thick, like like like, 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 like a sticky wings or something. Exactly, yeah, they... it looks absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to try it. And of course, served with the rice, it must even taste a lot mm -hmm. better. So, yeah. what do you think? Should we add more stock or do I just add a little bit more stock? Yeah, okay. Just a little bit. Just yeah, to tell me when. Okay. When. <laughs> no one gets that, but I one. know, right? Apple, apple. <laughs> All right, that's perfect. Mm. I feel like you don't want to now evaporate yes. it completely. Yes. So, Mazima? Right. Bob the uncle. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Looks delicious. Smells delicious. All right, now, earlier on, remember, guys, we did have some chicken, right? So what we're gonna do is we are going to flavor this chicken and fry it so that now you have um, a flavored, crispy bite to it. Mm. All right, now I love making marinades. Why? Because I'm gonna use a, a smaller bowl maybe. Mm. Um, maybe this. I'm gonna use 
a smaller bowl because we are going to be making a seasoning. Chef, please may I have some soy sauce, some mushroom sauce. Oh, no, no, uh, yes, some <laughs> vinegar and some paprika. Yes, Thank you. Mm. <laughs> now we've got some sesame oil here. We're going to pour that in there. Now remember those little bits that Chef had gotten rid of? We're going to put it in there so we can have that heat aspect, right? And then we're going to come with a little pinch of, um, maybe let's just add some garlic. <laughs> you guys knew that I cannot forget the garlic. So I'm just going to crush that and then we're going to mince it up. Make sure you get all the skin out and, and then we're going to mince this, this up. And what's gonna do that this is gonna do is add to that garlic flavor that you have there. Um, I mean the garlic, it's gonna add the garlic flavor, what I'm trying to say. You get what I'm trying to say. Alright, so we're gonna wait for Chef to bring the rest of that, and I'll just show you how to make this simple marinade. Um, I literally do not like cutting garlic as much as I love it. I hate, <laughs> I hate, 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 hate mincing garlic. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mush that up. Yes, please. Okay, so that's what? Soy sauce? Sorry. Yes. Some vinegar, please. Kidoko. Yes. Just a little bit. That's perfect. And then I'm going to add the garlic in there. Yes, some mushroom sauce. That looks beautiful. And then I'm going to grab this little sugar. We've got some sugar. Hey, I like to put a lot of chini, sugar. <laughs> Excuse me, who's making the marinade? <laughs> Thank you. What's that you had there? Hmm? What's this? Paprika? Yes, you need paprika. Thank you. And we're going to just give that a lovely, lovely um, rub. And then I'm going to taste this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is perfect. Chef, don't you believe me? You're telling me just a chini with the... The sugar. Yeah. <laughs> you win, you win today. I win today. <laughs> I'm telling you. And then what you want to do is just rub your chicken skin right on there. Now chef has um has the what you call it has the pan going, and we're gonna use the exact same sesame oil to kind of almost cook this. Look at that. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna let that sit for a bit. And then we're gonna fry that in there. Mm -hmm. Chef, please kindly put some sesame oil for me once that heats mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's almost done. Our sesame but, but, oil. But it's just flavor the other oil. So. Right? Mm -hmm. So just a little bit, and then we're gonna add the other oil in there. And what that's gonna do is we're gonna wait for that to heat is up. Is it a shallow fry or? Yeah, deep. like a shallow fry, oh. almost medium. Medium shallow, medium, um, so that medium deep. So that you can <laughs> you can coat that completely and then it will crispen up. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna add some corn flour last minute. I'm just waiting for that so for that uh, flavor to soak into mm. the chicken skin because then the corn flour will add that crisp. Mm. Will add the crisp to the chicken skin that you just need. And then the flavor is already in there. I'm telling you, you can literally snack on these, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, like chicken skin. Exactly. Like so, if you a certain, have a certain restaurant, you're gonna find two of egg. egg. Chicken skins. Yeah, we don't need the whole chicken. Right. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and and get this um, mix. I can see the oil is just about to get ready. And then what we're gonna do at this point is add our corn flour. Mm. Now this will add now is like the icing on the cake because what that's gonna do is it's going to crispen that chicken skin to perfection. So you've got the flavors in there. You've got your corn flour in there. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so delicious. Mm. Like I can't wait for you guys, for Chef to try this. Are we gonna add this? Let me add it as like the little flavoring aspects to our um, Gong Bao chicken. I'm just gonna make sure that we have... I know, I just wanna make sure that we have... Blangetti. <laughs> We're gonna make sure that we have all that in there. So and gonna, like, we, uh, exactly. Yeah. I just want to make sure that I have all the flavors in this as well. Isha mm. Kwamoto. Nimoto. Mm -hmm. oh Nimoto. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm just going to make sure that the skin has all that flavor. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> and then we're going to make sure that all this flavor is mm -hmm. just it looks like it does look mm. like a sock. It looks horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're just going to place that on there. Look at that. All right, Chef, please do this one as well. And make sure that it just becomes absolutely crispy. Yep, sir. Now, always with chicken, make sure that you wash your hands thoroughly. 
because salmonella is real people it's real i'm just gonna wash my hands and then literally just don't tamper with it just Hello, in leave a kwama. it in a kwama yeah. <laughs> look at that crispy delicious goodness honestly okay then i can serve yes please serve mm. so we're gonna just make sure that you that's make a, stuck. Can, to make a, a garnish. garnish we're gonna use this as a garnish mm, on yes. our kong pao chicken um and you just want to make sure that it's not sticking you just want to make sure that it's coming out easily you're you're deep frying it it's gonna be nice and crispy Woo! I can't wait. And then you're going to chop them up into little small bit sizes. Mm. So it almost like disappears into the dish. But then it's going it, to, since of, I mean, because of all the chili that we've used, it's going to add that heat aspect from the back, you know, just like boom. What we got here, we got some chili. That's what we got, right? All right. <laughs> so we're just going to make sure that it cooks through. I just want that crispy perfection. Oh my gosh, it looks perfect. The rice looks perfect. Sorry. A little bit of oil. Mm -hmm. That's enough. Yep. Spread that so that Ooh. it doesn't stick. Be careful. We do not want a splash of oil falling on you. And literally, this skin you want to cook it completely. Like mm. you want it to be completely crispy. So don't be shy. Make sure it gets nice and brown. We want those flavors to kind of like sizzle in you there. Take with, uh, crispy bacon. Exactly. You mm. want it like crispy bacon. Crispy bacon is what we're looking for, people. Now the rice is going in there. That's to mold it. Yes. And then we're going to plate and we're going to taste these bad boy kung pao chicken. Mm -hmm. Now you can see this has crispened up. You want to make sure you don't burn it. So I think I'm going to take that out. I'm going to put it on some parchment paper and just make sure it drains out all those oils. Chef, do we have saviets? <laughs> We're gonna just make sure that we completely drain the oil out, sorry. And then we are gonna chop them up, like I said, into bit size, bit size, like literally, you want them to disappear. You want the pieces of, of chicken skin to disappear completely. I hope the flavors have cooked through, um, you know, you want that crisp, nice flavor. Look at that, absolutely crispy. My mouth is watering just thinking about about how this will pan out to the dish and you've got those flavors in there as well i love marinades that's about it we're gonna drench this the oil out wait for it to kind of like dry out a little bit more and then we're gonna place these on our kumbau. um chef <laughs> yes tell us what are you doing okay so we're just doing the serving right which basically just put the rice in the mold mm -hmm. then just added a bit of the chicken kung pao, mm -hmm. and now we're just gonna do the gonna do the, the garnish. garnish with yours also. Right, you, you gotta have these bits. Ah, kwanini? Look funza. Ah? Look funza. Ulim funza nini? Kukata yo. Like. All right, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. I apologize, oh great teacher. I know you're being sarcastic now. <laughs> <laughs> Is it too hot? It's absolutely delicious. So we're basically just chopping this up. One. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes, thank Look you, on, chef. Okay. And so that we can get the nice... Can you hear that crunch as he mm. chops by? Like it's just that perfect crunch and... Oh my gosh, and the flavor. And then you get the heat at the back. So you just want to garnish that. Oh, look at those pieces. Garnish that oh, right at the top. Now they'll that, be a bit crunchy. Exactly. So you add that crunch aspect, which you already have from the... Um, oh. Delicious, yes? Mm. Oh, yum. Mm. <laughs> mm. Right? Mm. Okay. Imagine that Sugar wins today, huh? Sugar wins today. <laughs> That looks absolutely delicious. Chef, I do not know why you have a fork see, with you. See, I also you. have to taste <laughs> my food and see if it's the main But um, we've got the rice, of course, moja moja. I just want to get a bite of everything. Mm -hmm. So I want a little bit of the chilies. Right. <laughs> Hold on. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. oh my god. Kuleote. Mm. Mm -mm. Kuleote. It's not too hard. It's not hot, right? Mm -mm. You just want to make sure you get 
a little bit you've got the crunch wow. of the mm. of the chilies you've got the zucchini in there you've got the chicken that's so nice and juicy look at that bite wow. <laughs> mm. this is absolutely Delicious. Yeah, I know, man. Mm. Yeah, I don't even deserve. Mm? <laughs> I don't even deserve young. Mm. <laughs> and funny thing is you expect the chili to be overpowering, but it's not. Mm. It's just kombali. It just yeah, hits you from the back. Seeds. It's because we took out the seeds. All right. Now. Yes. <laughs> I agree. Mm. All right. Now we had our little um Dessert that oh nice it's cooled all the way through mm. we had um, just done this little deco uh, before early on the show and you can get the recipe online that's on mm. Ebru TV hot plate mm. so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place oh. this here for me yes just for you <laughs> and then we are going to chop it through so you want to make sure you you get the pieces a little piece of everything mm. and then we're gonna come right here and do that and then you want to kind of like separate it from the, the pan. You see why you put the cookies in. What's that? You see why you put the cookies in. You see why I put the cookies? Mm. Why did I put the cookies? Like no, it's like it's like a pie. Like you know, exactly. It's in one piece. One piece. Mm, we'll be exactly. Mm. And then you want to just like make sure you get the custard at the bottom, okay. which has solidified. And then you want to just get a piece of it out. Cream I know, right? Oh, and then you want to just give that a bite to make sure you get all the custard, <coughs> all the goodness, the whole shebang. I love the way Chef just goes in with the biggest bite ever. <laughs> like, what if it's bad? <laughs> mm -mm. Huh? I doubt. You mm. doubt? Is it good? Oh. Is it good? You can have <laughs> all this together. Right? Mm. All of it by yourself. And then thing is not too sweet. It's not too sweet. As you said, the balance. Exactly. Mmm. Mmm. That's delicious. Awesome. That's what we do. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bag that some of that home. I know. <laughs> um, I'm going to enjoy uh, this amazing Kung Pao chicken. Mm -hmm. Of course, we do hope you guys enjoy making it at home as well. Yep. That's it for tonight here on Hot Plate. I'm Claire Carato. And I'm Chef Bennett. <laughs> Have a lovely evening, guys. Goodbye. Love you, sir. <laughs>